Welcome to the Key Smash the News tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be adding on to our jump code from a previous part in this series, so that way our player can double jump. We're going to be doing this by using a function that Unreal provides called launch character. As you're watching, if you find this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. So in this tutorial, we're just going to be adding some code to our my character script. So you can go ahead and open that up. You are going to need the code from our jumping tutorial. I will link the whole series in the description below, but I will make sure to also add that jump tutorial by itself in case you just want that code. So we're going to go ahead and start off in the header and we're going to be adding two things. One is going to be a function and it's actually going to be a virtual void function. It's called landed. And this is a function that Unreal has made that determines when the player has hit the ground or not. And its type is f hit result. And it's called hit. And then you want to make sure to have an override here because we're going to be adding to it. And then the only other thing we need inside our header is a property. And we're going to add it right under our jumping property that we have from our previous video. And this is going to be u property int and we're gonna call this jump count. And we're gonna use this to determine how many times our player has pressed space. So that way we can figure out if they should be double jumping or not. So we can go ahead and save the header and go over to our CPP. We're gonna go ahead and give a default to that jumping count. And we're just gonna make it zero. And then I'm going to scroll down to where our functions are and I'm going to go ahead and adjust that landed function that we're overriding. So void a my character landed const f hit result hit and this landed that we're overriding is actually a part of the character class. So if you're not following this tutorial all the way through and just using our jump code, you are gonna wanna make sure that your script inherits from character. So inside here, we're gonna be getting the super of landed as we still want that functionality to be happening. And then what we're going to be adding in here is just once we've landed, we want our jump count to go back to zero. And so now that we've set up our jump count to reset whenever our player is back on the ground, we're gonna go down to our check jump function. And with this function, we're calling it every time we press and release the spacebar. And the reason we're doing this is so that way our character can hold down the spacebar and continuously jump instead of having to click it every time they want to jump. So we're just going to adjust this slightly. This first if statement is going to be what's called whenever our player releases the spacebar. In other words, they no longer are wanting to jump. And this else statement is what's going to be called whenever our player is deciding to jump. So inside this is where we're wanting to add to our jump count and check if our player has reached that jump count that we're wanting so we can double jump. So we're going to go ahead and do jump count plus plus. And this just adds one to our variable jump count every time it goes inside this else statement, which again happens whenever our player presses the space bar. And now we're gonna go ahead and check that jump count variable. So we're gonna see if it's equal to two. In other words, the player has pressed the space two times while in the air. And if it is equal to two, then we wanna do our launch character function. This is a built-in function made by Unreal for the character class. So again, it's really important to make sure that you're inheriting from character. And so now it wants the f vector of our launch velocity. So we're gonna do f vector zero in the x, zero in the y, and then I'm going to do 500 in the z. You may want to mess around with this number so it's more fitting to what you're hoping to get. This double jump is a little powerful, but I want it to be so you can clearly see the effect that's happening. But again, you may want it to be higher, you may want it to be lower, you can just adjust this number and recompile, or you can create a property that's edit anywhere so that way you can adjust it in the details panel while in the game so that way you don't have to compile each time you do an adjustment. So now that we've done our velocity, we're going to do a false for overriding in the x and y, and then we're going to do true for overriding in the z. What this does is for the direction that that specific override is for, it says, do you want to add to your current velocity in that direction, or do you want to override it and make it equal to your new vector? 
So I have it set to true because I'm wanting my upward velocity to be 500. In other words, it's overriding whatever my current velocity is and setting it to the value I'm passing in. But if you want it to add your value, then you set this to false, and then it will take whatever your current velocity is in the z direction and add the value that you've passed to that current velocity. And this is actually all of the code that we need for double jumping, so we can go ahead and save this and go back to the scene. And then we're going to go ahead and compile. And then we can go ahead and test and play. And I'm going to switch my view to first person. And then if I click once and then click twice, you can see I double jump. And if I click a bunch, I still only do the twice. So as a recap, we added on to our previous jump functionality to determine how many times our player has jumped while in the air so that way we can create a double jump effect. We did this through the use of Unreal's function launch character so that way we could give it a high velocity in its Z direction to shoot it upwards while it's already in the air. As always, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments or you can join our Discord and ask them there. We make videos here every Wednesday and Saturday, but we also stream games on Twitch Tuesdays and Fridays. We have a game on the Google store called Blast Off, and we have an asset pack of kids toys on the Unity store. We also have a Patreon that has a YouTuber supporter tier where you can get all of our C++ code from these tutorials. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.